already at 1.3 degrees. We are wow. approaching 1.5 degrees and we'll get there um, w within the 2030s. And we found that at 1.5 degrees, we're likely to cross five tipping points in the Earth system. We don't have time. We don't have time. And we don't have time. Yeah, we don't have time for business as, as usual. Welcome everyone from around the world to the We Don't Have Time Climate Week New York City broadcast in support of the UN Race to Zero. It's not a class question because there's enough money to go around. There is finance, but it's going the wrong way. Two trillion dollars are moving from the poorest countries to the richest countries. How do they scale wind power and solar throughout Indonesia? They're finding they cannot borrow money at reasonable rates to scale up. And this makes absolutely no sense. Last year, there's $423 billion in subsidies that was that was being used directly for you know, subsidizing fossil fuel. Most of that goes to manufacturers. That means oil companies. This year, we're going to be close to $600 billion. It's insane, right? I mean, it's just absolutely insane. We could use that money so much better. The challenge of regulation is it takes a long time to put into place. Mm -hmm. The beauty of voluntary action is it can happen immediately. We are we're at nearly 200 buildings at, that are operating on 100% renewable energy throughout the world. The single biggest thing that any average person can do is move their money. We are committed to being carbon neutral for our entire product supply chain by 2030. We're developing a portfolio of projects that over their lifetime will reduce or remove as much carbon from the atmosphere as is embedded in our products. So I think we need to get away from this old perception that there's a conflict between profit and sustainability. There absolutely is not. This is a huge business opportunity. We're going to see green skills demand outpace green skill supply. And in many cases we're finding that we can go faster than we thought we could. A lot is happening. Within a few years, we will have a lot of, a lot more solutions. We have solutions. We have ways. We have technology. We have a will now. That's why we're looking forward to our next COP27 and, and to see what, what we can achieve there. What, what is important is that, of course, this COP is taking place in Africa. It's drawing attention to the fact that there are regions of the world which need productive investment to um, you know, help them develop in a sustainable way. Food's clearly looking like a big topic at uh, COP27, the UN Climate Conference in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt in November. I think it's a watershed moment. We need to ensure that whatever discussions are had is translated into actual policy on the ground, in the countries. It's really time to get to work. Yeah, I think so. What do you think, Frankie?